Many people see a conflict between science and the Christian faith, and this includes young people at colleges and universities. And for young people who perceive this conflict, it can be confusing sometimes, even distressing. Uh, I'm joined by Dr. A.J. Roberts, a virologist, the molecular biologist, and a Christian, to help us give some advice as to how we can help young people at colleges and universities deal with this, this issue of conflict between science and the Christian faith. You worked at Yale University at the Rivendale Institute and had a chance to interact with young people quite a bit. What are some of the questions or concerns they have about science and the Christian faith? You know, Fuzz, I would say that the question that came up most often was, do I have to be covert about my Christian faith in order to be taken seriously uh, in the scientific arena? And, and I think many students struggle with keeping the two independent. Uh, it, can, it can be a very challenging environment to try and integrate your Christian faith with your scientific training or your scientific uh, exploration and research. And I, I think that most students that I've encountered, they, they adopt this position of independence where they keep their faith sort of separate from the science that they do, but they allow their faith to inform the way they approach the science. And so many of the students actually see Christianity as uh, as sort of a, a something that builds up their science and, and fills it with integrity, but it also sets some boundaries on the types of science that they, they think maybe we should explore. So those issues that sort of fall into the topics of bioethics. So I think many of the students will say, I think it's important to d discuss bioethics and I think that Christian, Judeo-Christian uh, teaching uh, gives us a foundation for morality, which gives us a platform for discussing bioethics. So I think they try to integrate it more at the issues of morality and bioethics. I think that's a great place where Christian thought should have an influence in science. I mean, certainly, we would have liked it to have stopped uh, experiments that went on during World War II by the Japanese or by the Nazis, uh, but maybe also call into question some of the research that's taken place in the United States in Tuskegee or uh, even through volunteers like the Seventh-day Adventists who volunteered as subjects for uh, human experimentation during the mid-50s through the early 70s. Now, did students have doubts about uh, scientific discoveries that maybe would undermine their faith or undermine their confidence in scripture? I think, I think if you're a scientist and a Christian and you're serious about finding truth in both of those realms, that you're gonna find challenges that crop up uh, either, not maybe so much in your own work, but by your colleagues that are, that are raising questions. And so yes, those questions do crop up, but I think they can be good because they can challenge you to really think more deeply about what are the underlying presuppositions on the area of science and what are the depths of the answers that we can find as we explore our Christian theology and faith at a deeper level. But I encourage them that I think those kinds of resolutions can be found, but it can be a lot of hard work and they just have to be committed to finding the truth and finding the integration between those two things. So the encouragement would be for a young person who has those kind of questions, keep studying, keep digging deeper, uh, maybe take a step back and ask maybe more uh, big picture type questions. Uh, and, and through that process, those doubts can turn into actually a tool that uh, could be used to strengthen or encourage their faith even more so. I think so. As long as they're committed and we'll, we'll put the hard work in, I think those answers can be found.